Next up uh, from the SEC East is South Carolina Gamecocks. Kind of an interesting point uh, in their Shane Beamer's like tenure at South Carolina as we go here. I think last year, to be honest, I was kind of proven wrong. Uh, I was I was out on Spencer Rattler, um, and I was really down on him even through the first few games of last year, but. Uh, they came back storming, and he came back storming uh, towards the end of the year. And I think a, a big question mark for them and kind of how their season goes. I mean, they have potential to be that number two team in the SEC East this year if Spencer Rattler and that offense play um, play the way that they showed they're capable of late in the season last year. But that's a big reach. Um, I don't – we'll see. Yeah, in South Carolina, I mean, the Beamer ball is in full effect, and I think the fan base is loving it. Uh, they're not entirely there, I don't think, as far as filling out the roster with the kind of players that you probably want to see. But they have some really, really high-profile players that are fun to watch. Uh, I have them slotted into that, you know, three to five range, but, I, you know, I expect them to finish third in the conference this year, or in the on the east side of the conference at least. Offensively, you talked about Spencer Rattler. Uh, his number one target is also, you know, a ton of fun to watch. Juice Wells, uh, he came in last year as a transfer at a, uh, James Madison, kind of lit the SEC on fire, finished all conference. Defensively, they've got uh, Nick Emanuori, uh, defensive back. This kid is huge. I'll have to look up his actual size, but if you just watch his tape, I mean, he jumps off the screen at you as a as a safety who stands at um. You know, six foot four, two 220 pounds as a safety kind of roaming in the back. And I mean, that's bigger Sheesh. than a lot of linebackers. Big he's guy. That, he can move too. So, I mean, he's he's like one of those freaks. That you size there. Yeah, you do not get that off the store shelf. And as far as what I expect from South Carolina, they're still working on building this roster. Uh, they brought in some talent uh, through the transfer portal. I think that'll be huge for them in the years to come. Uh, but Jerron Willis was a was a really high-rated recruit, came in from Ole Miss, a linebacker. Uh, Trey Knox is a receiver from Arkansas who put up fairly good numbers for them last year in the conference. So, you know, some proven talent there. Same with Nick Elksness from Florida. Um, and then the most interesting ones to watch, they've got a guard from Yale, um, and his name's escaping, but he's kind of projected to start, which you don't see a lot of Ivy League guys making the jump up to the SEC. Um, and then they've also got a running back. Very often. No, yeah, no, you don't see a lot. Well, you know, the academic quality has got to be a little bit of a dip from Yale to South Carolina. The one that I have my eye on is Mario Anderson. He's a running back from Newberry College. Uh, you've probably never heard of that college, but um, he's one of their all-time leading rushers uh, at Newberry. Um, and just because, you know, the room's a little bit thin this year, they, they took a gamble on him. And, you know, word is he's been performing pretty well at camp and he should get a lot of chances to play this year so. You know, kind of when you have these holes in the roster, it, it gives you chances to let guys like this have a chance. And those are always fun stories to track, I think. So I'll have my eye on Mario Anderson. And I'll I'll, I'll pull the name of that guard because I, I don't want to leave it out. Um, That's but, a, but if you have any other comments. No, I just to comment on the running back situation. That is um, that's that is the good thing about what we, we we've got with the transfer portal and kind of how college football is shaping up. Uh, if he comes out of Newberry College um, in South Carolina, it was like basically with how teams are having two recruiting classes now every year, one out, one out of high school and one out of the, the, the transfer portal. If he comes in and makes a difference uh, for South Carolina, that has a chance to, to change his whole trajectory, uh, life trajectory, trajectory, really, depending on how the season goes. So. That is, that is the cool part of this kind of new age uh, college football that we do have. I love the name drop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just, just to uh, jump back, Nick Gargiulo, that's the, the guard from Yale that looks like he's going to, you know, have a chance to secure a starting guard spot at an SEC school, which just awesome for him. Awesome for Mario Anderson. I'm excited to see both of them play this year. Uh, but <clears throat> I kind of expect, you know, like I said, I think South Carolina is a, a, a pretty solid team. They're well coached uh, and they play hard. So, you know, I see them finishing three or four in the SEC East and I kind of favor them for number three. Yeah, I mean, I kind of have to to not stray too far from you. I just, just not a 
not a huge believer uh, in what else is going on. Um, I mean, when when teams like Florida, we'll get to them, but when they're bringing in Graham Mertz, uh, we have issues uh, in the rest of the SEC East. Thank you.